Headlining a triple header of the little guys is WBC super flyweight champion Juan Francisco Estrada. He is going to be having a rematch with fellow Mexican Carlos Cuadras. They fought three years ago. I think it was on the undercard of Chocolatito's disastrous rematch against Rung Versailles. And it was a very good competitive fight where we just ultimately saw the higher class technician, Gallo Estrada, get the better of Quadras. Quadras is 32 now. He hasn't looked great recently. Estrada at 30 is probably right at the end of his peak, but still at his very best right now. And I think him looking to get that rematch with Chocolatito, confidence levels and emotional reasons to carry on with your career, very high at the moment. He's such a quality technician. Everybody should have him in their top 10 pound for pound. He's a guy who doesn't really have any weaknesses. If I think about Canelo, he's got stamina issues. Nayoya in a way sometimes doesn't always move his head. Uh, Lomachenko, it's hard to say he's got weaknesses, but he's a bit small at lightweight. But Estrada, he's just so good. He's defensively tight, counter-punching. He can fight at any range. That's the big thing. He, you could be trying to box with him and then you can try and slug with him and he just matches you every time. It's beautiful to watch. He's such a smooth operator in there that you watch him and you think, okay, he's not a massive puncher. He's not huge. He's not unbelievably quick, but I'm just like, this guy has no weaknesses, no discernible habits or mistakes he makes. He really doesn't get enough praise you know, there's been comparisons with Marquez before, but I think he's a bit tighter in terms of defense. As a result of him being a finer technician than Quadras, I think he'll be able to pick more gaps in the Quadras defense this time. Quadras is a very willful and gritty character who likes throwing a lot of shots, always gives you hassle, but his combinations have a bit of a scrappy flailing quality to them. He could sometimes be wanting for accuracy. And Estrada picks his punches so beautifully. Nice jab, right hand down the middle. If you come close and try and clinch him, he can throw such a short uppercut. And he picks his body shots nicely to break you down. I don't know if he'll stop Quadras, who's very resilient and probably has the old typical Mexican mentality of I'd rather die than quit or lose but I think if not stop him he'll win a wider unanimous decision now life from there isn't easy for Estrada because he's got Rung Versailles who probably deserves a third fight with him because they're one apiece and Chocolatito of course who he'll really want to get his revenge over and I think that fight will probably happen first before the third fight with Rung Versailles because it's going to make more money it's Mexico against Nicaragua. And it kind of needs to happen soon before Chocolatito disappears. Or, you know, they're, they're all in their 30s now, these top guys. So I would love to see that. Expect to see Estrada, superb technician, pick the holes in the Quadras defense. I think it will go the distance again. But I think it will be quite a wide, unanimous decision.